and I show you all the rabbit hole comes. What is up, Red Pill Racing? Gonna do a little bit of racing here. Looking for some speed for Dotcat 64, as always. <clears throat> I think we got uh, a few good contenders for the 37 gram, for the 40 gram Sportsman, and for the open stock. First off, these old super fast matchbox Pontiac stock car. This car is cracking. Got these old matchbox wheels that I like. And we're really good on this side. We got some potential. Outlaw. Next up, another super fast matchbox. It's the Buster. Again, some of my favorite wheels from Matchbox. The third Challenger. Concept Dodge. Red Pill. Found this song that I don't have to make my intro with this thing. Red Pill. Maybe we start seeing some better made videos. We'll see. So we got time to race it off. Just that concept. I know Mr. Mom's got one of these. I've got one. The one he's got, I think, is faster than mine. Maybe not anymore. Red pill. Let me just make sure these are gonna work. Thirty-seven point nine. Thirty-eight point five. Thirty-six point four. All good for the sportsman class. The next three are actually matchbox super fast, but they from. An earlier this year. After this it's a super fast Starburst wheels. It's the 280ZX Turbo. Got one of these pretty fast. Uh oh, got a sticky wheel. Let's see what I can do with that. 47.3 This car 300 ZX Mr. Mom Made me buy this thing Super close to the uh, 280 but I believe it may be heavier Oh yeah, 52.2 for the 280Z. The 300, 47.5. Looks like that 280's a little bit wider too. The third one. I got one of these as well. I bought it used and it 
flies. Ferrari 308 Starburst Matchbox Super Fast. Good looking car. Again, those Starburst wheels. 42.4. Almost light enough for the sportsman class. So I'm going to get these things graphite up with magic dust. We're going to see what they got. And sometimes on the first matchup, sportsman class. Concept and the Buster. First and second at diecast 64 right here. It's gonna have to be uh, 1.98 or so to even be close. Let's do it. Race one. Nope. Swap lanes. Race two. A faster. All right, I added an extra car in both classes. Got the new color change track tune against the Pontiac Stalker. The better Stalker's up one to nothing coming out of two. Tune wins it. He has the faster time. So it looks like the fastest of the four is the one Hot Wheels I got. The Trek Tune color change. Let's put them against one of the ones that raced last month. This one. So we got Mega Ang Trophy. Number two in January in the Sportsman at Diecast 64. Ran terrible. All right, this is going to be the fourth car that we add for the open stuff. It's a metal based matchbox 850. Not many metal based matchbox, 46.6. And this car is actually made in 2000. Don't see many 2000s that are metal on metal. We'll get a graphite and we'll race them. Let's go. Round one, Ferrari and two. BMW lane one. Decent time, decent time. Disappointing run for the Ferrari. It's got to be 1.997. So I remember the other Ferrari I had took some runs to break in, so let's see if he picks it up. Not enough. He did beat it. It's looking better. All right, second matchup, the car I've been most excited about, that 300Z. Lane one and the 280Z in lane two. That's what I'm talking about. Race two. The 300 ran a 1.984 or 9.87. The 280 ran a 1984. Both good times. Let's do it. The 280 wins it. All right, the finals 280 and one. BMW coming out of two. Consistent. All right, that BMW's got to win and be faster than 191. 89, my bad. Two eighty wins it. Two eighty wins this stuff. Pretty good times. These are my two red pill stocks last month. The 442 
went to the finals, finished fourth. Let's see what he does against that Fairmont. All right, just for fun, there's a 280 in lane two against that Fairmont, which disappointed and finished 11th in stock. At Diecast 64 in January. That was not disappointing. That may be the fastest stock time I've seen on this track. That was not bad either. Whoa. I'm gonna get another shot now. So what did we learn? We learned this Ferrari was disappointing. The other three, a little more breaking in, they may have an opportunity to be raced at Diecast 64. As far as the sportsman class, these two have no shot. Are these two? Meh. Yeah. Break them in a little, we'll see. The one Hot Wheels out of the group was the one that took the class in practice. So we'll try to break them in a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if any of them can take one of these spots for February. Diecast 64. We got some builds for Hot Wheels Downhill Racing Group. We got a Viper. We got the Mustang Camaro Showdown. These two are not fast as I want them to be, so they may get scrapped. They're actually just old builds that threw some weight in. The Viper's a fresh build and he's pretty fast. So maybe seeing this one in the Hot Wheels Downhill Racing. Valentine's Viper Race at Michael's Diecast Garage at the Bayou City Raceplex. So, back to testing. The quest for speed never ends at Red Pill. Searching for the truth in the fastest diecast there is. Till next time, Red Pill Racing. Out.